I've been making portraits for so many years and one of the things I like to do is make a recognizable face that when others see my artwork, they take a look at it and go, oh my goodness, is that Willie Nelson, for example. I'm also a big fan of Willie Nelson's and as I was sculpting the cheese cloth, I was uh, listening to his music on Spotify and later I played his autobiography um, from Audible. But at the same time, I saw an ad that Willie Nelson was appearing here in Toronto. He was doing a second show because the first one sold out and there were still tickets left. So I got a ticket uh, to go and see him, sat in the fourth row. I'm quite sure he looked directly at me. <clears throat> Can't be positive. Um, so uh, I really enjoyed working on his face. I love his lyrics. I incorporated them into his shirt and uh, I wrote them in by hand because I didn't want it to look artificial. I even went so far as to go online to see a sample of Willie Nelson's handwriting and attempted to mimic it for the writing of the lyrics on the background. I think every piece I make is a departure from the one prior to it because you learn things as you work on a particular art piece. You perhaps make mistakes that you wouldn't make the next time and so he's, he's a little different from all the ones I've made leading up to him because he's not quilted for one thing. He doesn't have a batting and backing as is traditional in the fiber art quilt world, but um, he is attached to felt. So he's fused onto a felt backing which hangs nice and flat and um, there's no stitching to compete with the cheesecloth. For me, the movement of the cheesecloth across the piece is the, the part that is so fascinating because it depicts the, the light and the shadow striking the face and um, it, it's, it's very dramatic because it's usually on a black backdrop. So um, I've added color to this one because you can only do so many black and white photos and you, you do want to progress into color so I'm incorporating more color in my work now and Willie was the start of that. There's always a challenge in each piece that I do. In this particular case I was wondering if I could make the hair look braided and if I could make the hat look like a straw cowboy hat just using fibers of cheesecloth. So that's something I work towards. I, I pretty much um, I, I feel comfortable now saying I've perhaps not mastered, but I'm comfortable with the use of cheesecloth to show the lines and creases on a face. I have movement of the cheesecloth going across the lines of the face, and um, so he's just um, a better example of that than everything that went before. I've, I've done a few musicians just because very often older musicians, when you take a look at their faces, they're a little grizzled and tell the story of uh, a life that's been lived and I find that endlessly fascinating. What I most enjoy about watching my work in an exhibition and the viewers is seeing the dance that the viewer does where they come up very close and see that it's cheesecloth and they stand back and go oh my goodness it's a face and then they go up close again to see how it has been made. The smaller the pieces are with cheesecloth the more difficult they are to do because you have to use such tiny little fibers to um, create the look of the face that honestly the bigger the face is the easier it is to work on. Now it takes longer to make a larger face because I'm covering a broader span of fabric but um, I enjoy the scale. I think that that's part of what creates the drama. Uh, when you come up close to it you can barely tell that it's a human face but it's when you stand back across the room that you can see the impact of the lines underneath an eye in the shadow and um, I think that uh, the larger size is um, adds more drama to the piece. I only chose lyrics of songs that Willie had written himself. He has sung songs that are quite famous written by other people but I carefully um, researched uh, his top hits and not the entire song is down there but only if you go up close do you A, see the lyrics at all, and B, can you make out which songs they are. But people who know Willie Nelson's music will 
recognize uh, many of the words uh, across his shirt because he's just such a fabulous songwriter. <laughs>